Ah, now we've got the green thing. Before we had nothing. Okay. Hello, hello. So sorry about that. We had to completely um, do it. And oh, I hope this. Hello, hello again. Hello again. So we're going to wait um, a few seconds until everybody comes back. Um, you can hear me. Please let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? We hear you. Yes. Oh, you can hear me. Okay. We had to redo everything and um, go through the settings one by one. Ah, okay. Lovely. You can hear me. Fantastic, fantastic. And again, very sorry. Um, okay, so. Escucho desde México. Hola, Brisa. ¿Cómo está? Um, <laughs> D'accord. Merci. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Ah, oh, does it a bit stressful on my end? Okay, so it's all about the party outfits. So if you have any questions, please write the word question in capital letters and then write your question after so I can see it really um, from, you know, really quickly, really easily because the comments are coming very fast. So um, I replied to one question before about the Christmas jumper, and it was, you know, for me, I was just you know, telling you maybe wear a plain but red sweater. I hope that was helpful. So we're waiting for you to write your questions, and thank you again very much for, for your patience <laughs> um, and your support. You've been very kind. Um, I've received already a few questions. So I'm going to start as that we give you time to write your question on the comments or in the comment section. Um, alors, bonjour, I made an impulse buy of a pair of wide leg teal crushed velvet pants. So I suppose that is with the for the festivities. Now I'm not sure how to style them. And it is from Linda Lynx. Um, <laughs> Wide leg teal crushed velvet pants. So, crushed velvet pants is going to be um, a fabric with sheen, and teal is not usually um, a shade that's very easy to uh, pair with other colors. So, I would advise something in maybe in white as it's for the festivities, a uh, white top, white. Top. Uh, as it is, as the the pants are wide leg, it is uh, usually better to, um, in order to, um, oh, I'm missing uh, my word now. Anyway, to make the outfit more flattering, to have um, tight, um, tighter top, so something not tight, 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 but something leaner, closer to the body, because the wide legs are going to widen you. So you don't want to have a, a wide loose top as well at the top that would be very um, widening otherwise. So it's a way to uh, make the outfit more um, more flattering for you. Um, you could also uh, pair, so pair with white, pair with um, a dark blue. Um, because steel is a little bit of a mixture between a blue and a green, I find. Um, and or you know it could be also black. Um, so let me know if that is helpful. Black might be a little black might be a little bit too dark, but you need to to decide on whether which color which shade fits you you know suits you here. So I hope that was helpful for you. Next, we'll see if we have a question. 
Um, so before your question, please type the word question in capital letters uh, next to your name. You see you have your name and type the word question in capital letters so I can see your question. Um, from Marielly, I love handbags, but I get very tired of black handbags in the winter. What colors can we not carry in the winter? Well, I think now the rules are very much, there are no rules, although there are some guidelines, but we are allowing ourselves to wear the color of handbag that we want. So yes, I mean, at the moment, white is, um, is very trendy even in winter, but you could have something like off-white or winter white handbag if you wanted to. There's no no really rules on that to not um, use that handbag, although maybe pale colors and pastels for winter may not work as much, but it's up to you to decide with your outfit. So for winter, we usually prefer some uh, punchier shades than pastels, but that's just really a guideline. I hope that was helpful for you, Marily. Ah, teacher Tanya Meyer, question. Very well. Somebody who's listened to me, <laughs> where are you based? I am in France. I am in Normandy, about three hours by train from Paris. Um, question, question. Uh, okay, from Chef. How to dress in an elegant way for casual parties for someone under 30? I sometimes struggle to dress my age because I like a classic look. Well, you know, you can still, if that, if that is your style, continue uh, dressing classically. What you could do is add a mutton touch to your outfit so that you don't look maybe too, um, too classic. You bring a touch of fun maybe or a touch of um, modern or trend into your outfit. Um, maybe it's by way of a color. <coughs> Excuse me. I need a drink. I got prepared <laughs> by way of a color or a piece of jewelry, um, something, or a pair of shoes, something that is a little bit different and modern. And I hope that was helpful for you. Brissa, question, how to look, um, to look, so how to look uh, combine and look good for with the family. Um, how to, to look good with the family? Um, well, if you're with a family, I think something not to, to choose is clothes that are a bit risky, like short skirts, uh, micro skirts, um, you know, big long decolletes, things that are see-through, of course, it's better to go more um, classic um, or, you know, wear trousers, wear, um, a at the moment, it's midi-length a trend, a long length as well, that's very elegant, uh, one with a beautiful shoes that is very elegant and very classy and very good with the family. So I hope that's helpful, Brisa. From Susan, what kind of shoes with a simple red shimmering knee-length dress for 50 plus age women? What kind of shoes with a simple red shimmering knee-length dress with 50 plus age women? Uh, with red, you can go blue. Um, navy blue is really nice. You can go also silver. Silver is a big trend as well. Um, it has not something, it's not like a whole silver outfit. So you can add, uh, you can wear easily some silver shoes. Um, well, any shoes really, it depends on your style. Um, for heel size, for instance, you could go, it depends if you wear mid heels, high heels, or are you just into um, flat heels. Um, what kind of shoes Mary Janes are, are in, the sandals are in as well for the festivities. You could go pumps. Uh, with a mid heel, um, you know, really the choice is yours. There's so many, so many um, styles at the moment. More, we're having a really good collection at the moment um, across all brands for um, 
for footwear and um, for clothes, for you know handbags. I mean, we have a big collection. So, you know, have a look at what you would prefer, really. Um, better not to go with red, as you have a red dress, but that's the only thing um, I would say. I think um, silver looks, would look very nice with your red. So I hope that was helpful, Susan. Um, from Elizabeth Palladino, question, what are best shoes to wear with a cocktail type dress? I have open toed, heeled, black wedges, but I'm afraid they look too clunky. Um, open heeled. With black wedges, that would be a little bit too, um, too clunky. Yes, you are right. Maybe too, um, too big a shoe, too large a shoe visually. Uh, worn with a cocktail dress. So go for something a little bit daintier, maybe some uh, heel sandals or some pumps or even Mary Jane's. That could look really nice. So I hope that's helpful for you, Elizabeth. Um, another question uh, from teacher Tanya Meyer. What would I recommend uh, to wear for Christmas lunch with friends? Informal and all over 50 here at home in Mexico City. Okay, so Mexico City, um, I'm not sure about the weather, but that wouldn't be um, a problem because even if it's warm, you can put a coat. Uh, if it's cold, you know, you put a coat on and if it's not cold, you can just go out like that. So um, with friends in formal, you could wear a beautiful pair of tailored trousers if you want to with flat shoes and... Um, and a nice top, maybe um, something sequin or just even a white shirt um, or simple dress. Really, when it's informal, you can go, uh, you know, quite, um, you have quite large <laughs> options, um, wide options to, to go to. Either, you know, are they going to wear jeans? In that case, you just wear, um, look, look, maybe that could be an outfit. Uh, if they're all going to wear jeans, wear jeans and cashmere sweater or um, a silk top or a silk shirt. Uh, and I'm wearing black shoes. So that could be um, a something that uh, in France we would do, for instance, if we're going to be out with friends, a pair of jeans, you know, but not a pair of jeans like this. Not um, distressed jeans or jeans with holes, obviously. Um, a pair of jeans like this, nice top and nice shoes. And voila. Uh, let me know if that's uh, helpful to you. Uh, from Sherry Roberts, question. Sequin pants over for the over 60? Sequin pants over 60. I, Sherry, uh, I think it's a little, you know, from my opinions, I think it's a little bit too much. Um, that's a difficult one, unless, you know, you're going to the party where everybody's going to wear sequin pants. But um, I think it's a little bit um, too much. I think as, we, as we're getting older, I think it's, it's better to look more... Um, more stylish, more raffiné, I think. Um, but by all means, if that's what you want to wear, please <laughs> wear, wear them. Um, uh, bonjour uh, to, to D Style from Montreal, Canada. And hello to my sister, she lives there as well. <laughs> uh, and question from Dolly. I have a winter white tuxedo type suit. That sounds lovely. So just a color for top and shoes. Thanks, love your channel. With winter white, the world is your oyster. For Christmas, for the festivities, as it's winter white, maybe. It really depends on what suits you, for instance, as metal um, and colors. If you are, you know, more for the gold, buy something with the gold. If you're more with the silver, buy something in silver. So you could go with um, shiny top, maybe a nice sequin top, but don't go overboard with large sequins, something really uh, still subtle. Uh, silver shoes again, 
or black, you know, something, you know, in the black and white always, um, uh, it has great contrast together, or any other color you want. Uh, because we, you know, with winter white, with white, you can wear anything. So what is the color that really suits you? Um, and have a look at what would look nice. But I think you can go the whole scale. <laughs> um, so Brissa, question, French women use sandals in winter. When, when I mean sandals, uh, not the sandals to go to the beach or to go out, you know, um, that kind of sandal, but the sandals to go out like for dancing, you know, the those uh, with high heels and, you know, those going out shoes um, for evenings, not the sandals, the flat sandal flip-flops and that kind of thing. Um, when I say sandals, everybody, uh, I don't mean the sandals to go outside uh, to the beach. It's more of the going out and dancing. So I hope that uh, <laughs> um, that's helpful. And Susan, we try to see and the black Mary Janes. Great. Um, a question from Jennifer. Hello, Marianne. I have a black jumpsuit, which I have had for a long time. Will it still be okay to wear? And how would you dress it for Christmas? It has long sleeves. Um, well, dress it up simply. It depends on the style. I'm, I'm not sure in which fabric or the style, but if it's fairly simple, you can wear some high heels that would look very nice. Um, or Mary Jane as well. Mary Jane that would look very nice. Um, and um, put some jewelry, something feminine, because if the black jumpsuit looks a little bit masculine, have some nice jewelry on the top um, to make it, uh, you know, uh, again, to bring femininity. Um, it doesn't have to go Christmassy with Christmas earrings, but um, if it, if you can open it all the way down, maybe you want, you could have like a silk camisole. Um, you know, that would look nice. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, another question I receive. Uh, somebody asked, as sequins, classy, as in dresses, trousers, blazers, etc. I love them and I love sparkle, but I saw somewhere that it can look cheap. Well, it depends. Um, sequins, you know, you have those big sequins or tiny little ones, a little bit of sparkle, I think is very nice, but you have to see Okay, we, is it too much? Because I, I, obviously my opinion is going to come from the French chic um, background, uh, French woman uh, living in France, what we do in France. So we always do less is more. So the whole outfit, the whole sequence will say no, but you could go from um, a little bit of sparkle on your shoes, a uh, little sparkle on your top, or a little bit of sparkle on your skirt, something like that, but not overly um, sparkly, 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 or too much. And also the size of the sparkle, so go for the tiny ones. Um, so I hope that is uh, helpful. Um, okay, what else? Um, so please let me know your questions on about the party outfits. Okay, so while you are waiting, while you are busy writing your question, I'm going to read another question here. The questions have been so good. Such good questions. Uh, another one from Carol Young. What do you suggest for wearing when you are spending your holidays at home? That's another very good question. Um, <clears throat> a bit of water. Well, I think when you stay at home, you don't go out. You want to be maybe a little bit of comfortable and you don't want to maybe go all out. So maybe not wearing um, a long dress and with high heels like this. So, but you, you can still wear nice clothes. I always think whether it's, you know, Christmas time, celebration, everything, or whether it's every day. You know me, I'm always against, you know, comfort clothes. So even though you are at home, it doesn't mean that you can be wearing, you know, leggings and um, old sneakers and a white T-shirt that's seen better days. So you can still wear a tailored trousers or a skirt or a dress, cashmere sweater, uh, a silk top, 
or if you do the cooking, maybe not a silly blouse, uh, because the splashes will be expensive, obviously. But, um, you know, wear something nice, wear, you know, something that makes you think, oh, yes, well, it's, you know, celebration time at the moment. I'm at home, but I still look nice. Um, you know, you could put a little bit of lipstick, a bit of mascara, um, do up your hair, or like me, just do that. Um, and some pearls, and, and voila. You look nice, you at home, but still look nice. And it's for you, but it's also for the family, it's for the um, celebration of the of Christmas time, etc. So I hope that is helpful. Um, what else have we got here? Bonjour, Hector from Puerto Rico. Um, and um, Mile Marker says, hello, just wanted to say that you've been very helpful to me in my closet. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you very much for, you know, for supporting me and my channel. It's always um, a pleasure to have people, always. Um, crafty little lady, absolutely adore you. Oh, thank you. So, crafty little lady, my complexion is so pale with light hair, a bright red looks so too strong on me. So, this holiday season, I'm sticking with navy. Fantastic, fantastic. I love na navy blue too, it's lovely. Um, crafty little lady, I'm adding a nice sparkly navy scarf outside to get together and a nice navy necklace with the indoor go together, get together. Perfect, fantastic. Another question from Michelle, Michelle Harkness. Uh, hello, Michelle. <laughs> when planning an outfit to wear to the holiday party, um, do the handbag and evening shoes have to match? No, we don't. I mean, you can match it if you want. We don't do the matching the handbag with the, the shoes anymore. Um, actually, it goes to, uh, it's even more, than that, it's even more than don't match your shoes and handbag. It's even more of a wear your outfit, put your outfit on, and choose a handbag that actually clashes with the rest of the outfit. Uh, but you don't have to go that far. Um, if you have um, a bag, for instance, that, that look uh, a little bit festive, maybe in uh, silver, little sparkles, or little flowers, or a little bit special, Wear that handbag. Uh, don't forget that handbags do not have such an impact on the outfit. Footwear, your shoes will have a much bigger impact. Shoes are the accessory that really have the main impact as an accessory, the main impact on your outfit. So choose always your footwear um, well. Choose it wisely, and then the handbag is always secondary. Um, okay, another question. I have a short torso, so I leave my shirt untucked to balance out my shape. Should I put a belt over my shirt to accent my narrow waist? Um, So I have a short torso, so I leave my shirt untucked to balance out my shape. So I put a belt over my shirt to accent my narrow waist. You know, it is always nice to have long legs. So if you have a short torso, uh, you can still um, keep not lengthen it because sometimes by lengthening it, you can throw out some your proportions. But um, Let's see. So you have a short torso. So I'm going to do a little demonstration here. So you say you leave it out. But then it shortens. Especially and if you put, um, but let's do, let's do that. Let's put a belt. So. Um, it will depend on your top. So you can do that. Yep. 
So you are lengthening your torso. You're showing or you're creating a way. So that is very good. But you have to still think about your the legs because if you do that, you need to have full length trousers. Because if you do that and you have trousers that do that, for instance, or that are cropped, you see how your leg is shortened and suddenly your proportions are wrong um, on this side. So you need to be careful about that when you when you um, when you're trying to lengthen your torso. Um, so have a look at the top. What kind of top is it? And don't forget if you have a low um, a deep décolleté that will act as a shorter um, torso as well. So don't go too deep in the décolleté so it doesn't um, shorten your, uh, your torso visually too much. What you could do is keep your uh, keep it tucked in, but maybe wear a trouser that is not high waist, or maybe a medium waist or, or low waist. Have a look if it's better like that in balancing out your silhouette. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, Cam, uh, JT from Las Vegas, absolutely adore this channel. My closet has become so much more stylish, wonderful, and I've been inspired to enroll in French language classes at the university. Fantastic. J'espère que vous aimerez bien uh, votre, um, vos études. Très bien. Um, another question from Steph Smith. When in the kitchen, of course, we have to wear an apron to protect our outfit. Yes. Have you a view on what style or color of apron might fit the French chic style? Well, anything that protects you, uh, that's very good. It's very good. Um, we wear an apron. Oh, well, for me, for instance, I always wear an apron here, and you know those that go up here, so that it, it uh, attaches at the neck, and it's quite long, so it protects your your legs as well. Um, but anything that does the job, really, um, and no, well, nothing like that. But I have funny prints, uh, a little bit risky prints, I don't like that, but uh, <laughs> anything else is good. Um, a question for Michelle uh, Harkness. Since I have silver Ferragamo belly flats and a small handbag in red from Coach, uh, so silver belly flats, handbag in red, may I wear a little black dress with it both combined? Uh, so black dress, um, small handbag in red, a silver Ferragamo. Yes, that would be fine. Um, silver, um, so silver flats with a black dress, fantastic, and a red bag. Yeah. So uh, another tip that um, the guidelines for from us French women, we don't wear more than three colors. So usually two, uh, and a third that would be um, a pop or you know a smaller quantity. So do not wear more than three colors. Otherwise, that would be. Uh, deemed too much, but three there, that's fantastic. So I hope so far it's, it's helpful to you. If you want to know more about style, by the way, um, I have my French Chic Academy that's opening up for the uh, winter intake. So we'll start on the 1st of January and it's open now. And um, so you can look all here, I'll put the link in the comments. If you're interested to join, I have some fantastic ladies, who are my friendship ladies from the academy, and they've been with me for years. And we have a, a live um, call every weekend. So starting to know each other and everything, it's a really good um, community. And of course, the style, they learn so much more because it's almost on a, um, they have access to me privately via the, the live call. Uh, link to the uh, academy. I put the link down below, so you can have a look if you want to. Um, okay, I've got another question from Nikki Music. Uh, how can I style a short sleeve velvet dress to disguise my to disguise my upper arms 
that have been seen better days. Well, by with a jacket, with um, a shawl, um, a cardigan might be, it needs to be, you know, um, something dressy, not a cardigan, you know, um, a wool cardigan. But for instance, I have to let, let me have a look. So here is it's my studio, but it's also all the clothes are here. So I'm going to get some of my clothes. Uh -huh. A jacket like this is really nice to wear over a dress, for instance. Um, so this, I put that here, but that's another, that, that wasn't in the question, but that's another beautiful thing you can wear, just a flower there on the neck. Um, if you have a simple dress, for instance, it would look nice. But a vest, a uh, jacket like this looks very nice over a dress, or even over a um, a silk top, for instance, uh, tailored trousers or skirts, or even blue jeans. So if you're having a kind of a, you know, a mix, kind of a casual, informal, you can still wear your jeans. Oh, yes, we go with jeans, but you can still wear something nice on top. Um, I have done talking about those you know, arms that I've seen better days. I have done a video on that topic. So please check on my, uh, you can do a search on the channel and have a look uh, for that video. So I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, Nikki Music. So um, from Elizabeth Palladino, what do you think of fitted black trousers that have an elasticated waist, no button zipper, they have a two d shape, at the bottom and fit me very well. Okay, so they're going to be what we call tapered. Um, the thing to do is you need to, to wear something that's going to hide the elasticated pants so that arrive the elasticated waistline so that we, we go here. Um, so you don't want to see the elasticated waist. Um, okay. Um, wear some wear a top that is fairly close to the body, because the tulip shape or tapered trousers um, are cut wider at the thigh area. Um, so you want the the in order to balance that that fit, you need something closer to the body at the top. So I hope that is helpful for you. Um, hello, Caroline. Uh, Diana, what length should my straight length pants be with flat shoes as I cannot wear his anymore? What length should my straight leg pants be with flat shoes? Um, why do you, it, again, depends on the, on the shoes, depends on your trousers, depends also on your, on your silhouette. But for instance, um, with loafers and with um, Oxford, you can wear um, th what, maybe not three quarter. What we call in France is set huitième. That means trousers that are a little bit um, cropped, a little bit, a little bit, not too too cropped. Huh? Uh, so you can see a little bit of your of the bone of the ankle, and you can wear those shoes, and the look is very very nice. Um, what am I on that question? Um, or you can wear the full length. So it depends on the shoes, depends on, on you, what you prefer, uh, depends on the trouser as well. Because some trousers that are long do not look good, you know, if you have them uh, taken in by the, you know, by yourself with seamstress. So you need to have a look at what, um, you know, the style of the trousers and what shoes you're going to wear with them. Ah, thank you, Ashley. Ashley said, hit the like button, everyone. Yes, please. 
Give me some love. <laughs> Give me some love. Um, thank you, Michelle. You are welcome. From Soraya, what are the best brands for buying white t-shirt? Uh, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Click your like buttons, everyone. Um, a good t-shirt. So a t-shirt that, if you want to buy a, t a cheap t-shirt, then you know you go where you know where to go. But the a good t-shirt, the t-shirt is going to be thick. So the cotton is going to be one hundred percent cotton is going to be thick. That means it is not transparent, it's not see-through. Um, COS, for instance, the, the brand COS, COS, is very good. Um, Arquette is very good. Uh, these are two brands that come to mind. Um, because I don't have all the T-shirt from everybody yet, <laughs> from everybody, but I know those two brands because uh, I've got some... Uh, top some of them are very good uh, t-shirt. I hope that's helpful for you, Soraya. Um, from Jill, thank you. I have been watching you for a few years now and I'm happy to say that my closet shows it. It's much easier and I feel more confident choosing an outfit. But thank you very much, Jill. Thank you for your support because um, we're having a relationship here between my channel and uh, my viewers, you know, you. I'm helping you, and you are supporting my channel. So it's it's a two it's a two way street, and I love helping women. Uh, this is why I've created uh, forty plus uh, courses and masterclasses on on uh, on my channel. I've got masterclasses uh, which have been given live, and also have courses on probably every topic um, you you want to know about stuff. Um, so if you want to know about all this, I'm going to put the link to my channel and then you can have a look at, um, so I'll give you the link to, the link to my master classes. You can have a look in here, so I'll put the link here. Links to my style master classes. To, la to look there. And there. And the links to the courses. And also <laughs> written books. Um, I'm laughing because I, I always think that my viewers know, and sometimes I hear a comment um, saying, oh, but you wrote books I didn't know. And I did, and that's how I started um, you know, Marianne Lecoeur. Um, that's how I started this. Um, my style business from my book, How to Be Chic and Elegant. Uh, oh, you can see this, the two books. My, well, I wrote five, but there's are two of those. So the red one, How to Be Chic and Elegant. There are 200 odd uh, tips in that. And, oh, and the pink, oh, because the, the image is reversed, difficult to point. Yeah. <laughs> the pink one next to it is the tidy closet. So these have been um, bestsellers uh, and they're really nice. I'm going to say so myself. Uh, okay, so. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your hearts. I have seen your hearts when I was talking. It's lovely. So, uh, okay, for Michelle, a question. If one plans to wear black cowboy style ankle boots, is it all right to pair them with a long black six go midi skirt in polyester? The fabric on the cowboy boots is actual suede. I love the um, I love cowboy boots. I love them in in leather or in suede. They are beautiful. Uh, but I don't know what a long black six go uh, six go midi skirt in polyester. Um, I 
What would be nice with the suede would be for instance something in um, a leather or something in wool. Um, the six go, I'm not sure that um, it goes well with midi, also in long with long skirts and uh, dresses. Um, I hope that's helpful for you, uh, Michelle. I don't know if I have been um, helpful or not. From Marie Lee, what is your take on smart watches that it seems like everyone wears in USA? Ah, oh, well, I can't tell you what everyone wears in USA um, at the moment in watches because um, I'm here in Normandy and I don't know. You know, just because everybody wears something, that doesn't mean that you, do, you have to have it. If it's something you want, you don't have to have it. If it's something you really love, well, have one. But um, sometimes, you know, it's the opposite. Some people think, oh, everybody wears them, so I'm not going to have one of them. You know, it's, it's up to you. Um, if they're nice and you love them, have one. <laughs> um, Jill, I love your books. Thank you. Um, okay, some other question. What does I have? Um, somebody asked uh, from Ali Blue. 3605. There is a thing I saw on social media saying that it's illegal. It's illegal to have a fake designer brand purse bag in France. How true a fake is it? Well, if the purse or bag are fake, <laughs> okay, I, I know it's um, I'm making fun, but uh, it is true. It is true. It is illegal to have a fake um, purse or something like that in France. So be careful when you when you go through the um, through the customs because if it's obviously fake, you have a fine or something. Or they may take it, take it away. Yes, it is true. It is true. So you can have something that is a dupe. That means it looks like, but not something that says, for instance, Chanel, and it is not from Chanel. This is illegal in France. Yeah. Um. Marily says, I will get your books and get them for people I know that need information. Thank you very much. They make really lovely uh, presents and they'll go in your handbag. Um, from Sandra, I prefer straight leg pants and jeans. Are they always in style? Yes. Yes. They don't overwhelm my frame in suggestion for your shorties. Yes, straight leg pants and jeans. Jeans are always in style. And this is actually... The preferred style in France, straight leg jeans, we love them. Um, I'm five foot two, they don't overwhelm my frame. Any suggestions for us shorties? Yes, well, if they are, they flatter you, they flatter your frame, continue wearing those straight leg uh, pants and jeans. And the thing is, you can wear them with any footwear, but avoid if you are petite. Avoid um, any footwear that's really, really big, like big sneakers or big platform shoes, uh, big wedges, uh, big combat boots, or, you know, everything is big, like um, Birkenstocks, <laughs> um, anything like that, because then it's going to be, um, that's not going to stay in the proportions of your silhouette. And that, that's a actual um, a good pro tip for everybody. Depending on your size, whether you're a petite, uh, petite size, uh, short, or you are tall, or, or you are plus size, always keep in mind the size of a motif, size of the shoes, you know, in the shape, the size of your jewelry the size of uh, the bag that you carry. Because if you are, for instance, um, petite and you wear a huge bag, it's going to be, it's not going to be in proportion. You're going to disappear. It's going to look like you can, you know, we can put you inside the bag, especially with some size of bags that you can see now. Uh, but is the opposite is true also. You know, if you are plus size, don't carry things that are too dainty. Because again, it is not in proportion. 
Um, so I hope that is helpful for you, my lovely ladies. Ah, Lisbeth, a few winter recommendations for a visit to Comptoir des Cotonniers. Um, what I like about Comptoir des Cotonniers, and I've got a couple of, of the things, is uh, jeans. The jeans are very good quality and they are really, really nice to wear. So that I can tell you, you know, whatever season, have a look at their jeans. They are very good and very nice. Um, Rosemary, can you do a video about winter hats and scarves? I love your hat video from Cherbourg. Oh, yes, that was a few years ago. I remember I did that. People liked it. Um, yes, I can do something like that, uh, maybe. Um, that, was, that was a lovely day in Cherbourg. That was. And Bonfet from Brussels. Bonfet. Michelle Hackness, uh, like Soraya, please, would, would like advice on where to purchase a fabulous T-shirt in white, excellent fabric. Again, have a look in, because I'm going to show you. This is a um, T-shirt from Kos, and you can see how thick it is. It's very thick, so it's very good quality T-shirt. Kos, C-O-S. So any more questions about the party outfits? Um, I was going to show you a few things that I put aside um, to show you like a few kind of style, something we would wear in France and something you can you could think of. So let's have a look. So for instance, a jacket like this that is really um, that's punchy with a black piping and you could put a black top with that. So a pair of black trousers or black skirt that would look really nice. Next, <laughs> um, I bought this recently, um, a navy blue trouser suit. So on the, uh, you are seeing it by the camera. So the camera changes the color. The color is much nicer here than here, <laughs> the camera. And also it's less shiny. It's very shiny here, but not in reality. And that will last me for years. You can wear just a, the, the jacket, just the trousers, wear something with silk or um, cashmere top, silk top, silk camisole, something like that, um, with a shirt. There's so many, so many ways. And that could be, again, that could be an outfit you buy once and you wear multiple times. Uh, I've got this. No. Um, this is, um, I've got the suit, but I can't find the trousers right now. I'm going to find them once um, once the cool is finished. But it's, um, um, what do you call that, a smoking, we say in France. So the trousers are black with um, black piping on the side. And that again, it's an outfit you buy once and you can wear forever at your parties. Again, wear just the trousers, wear the jacket, jacket, the two together, fantastic. Always looks great. Another suit I have, and I have the trousers as well. And uh, the trousers at the side, they've got uh, this as well. Somebody, when I wear it, people always ask me, oh, the blouse is nice. It is part of the jacket. So it looks like you have a top 
uh, like a nice blouse, but actually it's a jacket. And this one was from Betty Barclay years and years ago, probably 18 years ago, 20 years ago, something like that. And I still, I can still wear it now. I can't tell you how many times I've worn it. It is beautiful. Again, buy once, wear forever. And something else I have, uh, a long silk skirt. And again, that's something you buy once and you wear it for so many occasions, so many options to wear this. And I showed you the other Chanel style jacket before. So just to give you a few ideas of, you know, you don't have to wear uh, red. You don't have to wear sequins all over. You can have don't have to be silver from or gold, you know, from top to bottom. Um, you can wear these kind of things um, and, you know, look different every year by depending on what you wear with it. You know, your, your shoes or um, jewelry or your top, you know, just to give you a few ideas. Please let me know if that was helpful to you. <laughs> um, where were we? Okay, from Teresa. Um, I love to wear my tailored clothes during the day and during the dinner. But when it's time to cook, I am reluctant to keep them on, especially while cooking with garlic. Any tips on cooking? Ah, I am, it is just the same. So if I wear a suit, of course, if I'm cooking, I'm going to remove the jacket um, and I'll put on my, um, my apron. If I wear um, a silk shirt, silk blouse, you know, with long sleeves, I will remove the silk shirt because you can be sure it is silk. And if there's any grease that splashes, you know, uh, it will go on the silk blouse that is not hidden behind the, <laughs> behind the apron. So I would put something else to cook. And um, after the cooking, I can put my nice um, blouse back on. Uh, I hope that is helpful, uh, Teresa. Um, Glad Bergio says, I think it's illegal in Italy as well for fake bags. That could be. That could well be because obviously, you know, in Italy, they are the masters at, you know, leather bags and leather shoes and brands. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to do that as well. Uh, from M. Anderson, question, what would you recommend for long haul flight? LA to London to be comfortable and yet fashionable. Do not, please, do not, please <laughs> wear um, jock pants, hoodie, and running shoes. Um, just wear something nice, something that is not too. For instance, if you're wearing jeans, some people say, "Oh, jeans! I can't wear jeans in a in a plane because it's too tight." There may be a pair of jeans that you, you wear that are not too tight here. It's, it's here that's you know, on the bottom. Uh, or wear a pair of tailored trousers um, that you can, that maybe you wear with a, the belt or not, you can, that are not too tight again here. Or maybe wearing a dress or skirt can be a little difficult on a plane because depending on where you sit, depending on who do you have to step over, you know, the sleep and you want to go to the um, to the loo, and invariably you're wearing a skirt and you have to, you know, you know what I mean. So trousers usually are better, um, and um, flat shoes more comfortable. But then flat shoes don't have to be, um, you know, flip flops and or Birkenstock, or those big running shoes, you can wear some really smart sh flat shoes. Uh, but I would, for instance, uh, have with you a big shawl. You know those big scarf shawl. I always carry with me um, a big shawl. Mine is in cashmere, so you can wrap yourself in it, and outside you use it, you know, the rest of the holiday or whatever your journey. You carry it, you wear it as a scarf um, because that looks nice, uh, it's stylish and also practical. You want something that's practical. Also, you know, wear your, carry with you your your big items, but as long as they're nice, you don't want to look like um, somebody 
I've just come out of the um, yoga studio, for instance. <laughs> so I hope that is helpful to you. Um, from Margaret, what room of your house is this? I love to see the chateau. Um, we don't have a chateau, but we have um, it's a manor, a manor house, and this one is a studio. So this is where I shoot all my videos. Um, you welcome, Michelle. Um, from Rona, hi from Sardinia. What do you think is appropriate for Christmas Eve dinner at a friend's house? So Christmas Eve is a big celebration. Um, so you have you are a guest, so you need to be well dressed because that shows respect, and it is a big celebration. So really, you could ask your your friend what is the um, the dress code, for instance. But you know, no jeans, no sneakers, no anything like that, nothing casual, everything quite smart. And when invited to, uh, you know, when invited somewhere, I think you can, it's better to go a little bit dressier than underdressed because if you are dressier, that shows your host, you know, you really appreciate and value the, um, the invitation, the, the party, the dinner, um, and that would make the host very happy. So I hope that was. Um, Helpful. <clears throat> Need a little water. I'm talking, talking, talking. So yes, I had planned this live stream to be one hour. We're just over one hour now, nine and ten minutes. But I still have a few questions, so I'm going to continue. Becky, cream skirt. Well, some cream or white winter white may have some a little bit more yellow than some. Um, so if it's got a little bit more yellow, it can go with gold, and if it hasn't, it can go with silver. It depends on the white, but also the main thing is it depends on you. What is your coloring? What what are your metals usually? Do you wear silver or do you wear gold? Um, but you know. You can, if, if the gold is not next to your face, you can wear a gold bag if you want, or you can wear a silver bag. Um, do you have a gold bag and a silver one? You know, choose, have a look, try this the thing, try the outfit on in front of your full length mirror. But if you have just one gold and one, one gold and all a silver, just wear the one you have. You don't need to buy something, something new for that. Um, so I hope that's helpful for you, Becky. Oh, Lana, thank you so much. Lana, you are welcome. I am so happy. Uh, Lana says, Marianne, thanks a lot for your book and videos. You have changed my life. Thank you very much. It is so nice to, um, to read, you know, uh, comment and testimonial like that because, um, you know, to change, to being able to change somebody's life like that is, um, it's, it's really something. Sorry. <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, should a cardigan be worn as a shirt with something underneath? Well, I think it's always, um, it's always better to, to have something underneath, but it depends on the, the cardigan. If a cardigan is round necked, then you know if you have all the buttons that acts as a jumper. But if it's uh, you have some that are really long um, V necks, then it's better to have something underneath a shirt, a t shirt, a tank top, or a camisole, or a fine turtleneck in merino wool. Uh, so I hope that's helpful to you. Huh? <clears throat> Uh, another question from Chef. How to avoid looking bulky in winters? I'm slim, but I get cold easily, so I end up wearing puffer jackets or too many layers. Well, I was going to say layers, funny enough. <laughs> um, but start with something small. Wear something, um, either wear thermals that are thin and Uniqlo, actually. Um, 
do some really good thermals and they have three different um, heat take, heat, heat take, I think the Japanese technology, um, three different levels of um, of heat of you know the thermal so from the low to the high so you could try that already it's not too thick or go with um, a silk camisole uh, silk even in winter it's really good close to the to the skin uh, and where you know continue with the layers but thin layers and you know by adding thin layers it, it traps the heat on your body so it works really well um long you know, long sleeves as well. You know, you can have two or three long sleeves. Um, um, wool, anything with wool or cashmere. Angora. Angora is very fluffy and it's really warming. Uh, turtlenecks. Um, but yes, the layers um, will keep you warm. What you can do as well, as well is wear a pair of tights under your trousers. Um, and you have also now some tights that have uh, that have some um, um, that are lined, you know, to keep you warm. So try that, and I hope that's helpful for you. Um, Becky says, J. Crew is a great site for great quality T-shirts. Voila, thank you, Becky. So J. Crew, everybody, they do also great T-shirts. Uh, Becky says, so you can get a better upgrade if you're dressed classy on flight. Voila. That's a, well, that's another good reason for for looking smart on flight. Click the like. Thank you, Karen. Um, for Montpetson, Mont, Montpetson, I don't know if I ever say it right. Is there something I can do to make wool coats less itchy? I love them, but they drive me crazy. Are some people more sensitive to wool? Yes, some people are very sensitive to wool. Um, I have I have wool coats and I'm okay, but there's some people who are sensitive. Um, make sure that they don't touch your skin. So if you have a, uh, you know, like the coat behind me is, is wool. Uh, <laughs> this is a wool coat from Cezanne. Uh, it's not scratchy, but if you're allergic, you're allergic, whether or not it's scratchy. So wear turtleneck, wear a scarf, um, wear a shirt so that it, so it doesn't actually touch your your skin. Um. <clears throat> oh, problem with sound. Uh, I think it should still be. Please let me know if you can hear me. Um. Yeah, yeah, it should be working okay. I've got uh, a microphone now showing me the green little dots. Um. From Sylvia, would you suggest some good ideas for some simple party makeup and a friend chic? Um, you can go for what what we like in France is like a strong eye or a pale and and a paler lip or the uh, the opposite strong lip with um, very simple eye. Um, Okay, some people are saying they've got difficult to hear me. Um, and some others say they can hear me. I hope you can hear me well. Um, thank you, Rona. Merci. Um, from Chef, I look into more Uniqlo thermals. Fantastic. Uh, Pierre Durocher, question. Pour le soir de Noël, je porte une jupe droite sous le genou. Le haut sera chandail style bardeau noir. Oh, I like that. Ou chemisier de soie blanc. Quelles chaussures choisir pour accompagner? Merci. So, um, for the evening, uh, for Christmas evening, um, she'll wear a straight under the knee skirt. Uh, the the top will be um, a sweater, but part the style. That means it will be off the shoulder. I love, love that. I love the shoulder you know, top. They are really sexy and feminine. Or um, a white silk uh, uh, blouse. So the question is, which shoes to choose? Which shoes to choose? 
to uh, to work with this. Well, I'll either pumps, you know, pumps the um, what you call, or court shoes, the normal heels, chaussures uh, à talons, or the Mary Janes. Mary Janes are lovely. They are lovely with with the skirts um, and dresses. They, they look nice. Mary Janes look nice with um, with everything. Trousers, jeans, skirt, dress. Um, and you can go white, you can go black, you know, uh, I don't know whether the, the color of the skirt, je, je ne connais pas la, la couleur de la jupe, mais vous pourriez um, prendre euh, des chaussures blanches ou noires, ça dépend le, la couleur de la jupe, enfin vous pouvez faire, euh, prendre la couleur. Uh, que vous voulez, um, les chaussures, les Mary James, les babies, comme on dit en France. So, J'espère que ça vous a aidé. Um, Marilyn McGill, you wear red lipstick, red color, what color it is? I had a live stream just before I went live on YouTube and I wore red, you know, almost the same. But I thought it was too much, too strong. So I chose, I'm wearing... Um, yeah. One of these from Trini, Trini London, uh, and this one is, I don't remember, let's have a look, it's really good, this. Uh, Sasha, Lip Love Brillant à Lèvres, the, the tint is called Sasha. So you just put them all like that. Um, Maria Virardi, if you have problems due to the cold at Christmas, uh, you can come to Buenos Aires. We'll have 30 degrees Celsius that day. Like, oh, oh, I'd love that. I've never been to Buenos Aires. Maybe I should put that on my list. I think I have answered. Uh, okay, ah, there's one. Okay, one more. From Helen of Cortina, how can we look pretty but warm and comfortable? I need an outfit that is a bit indoor, outdoor, because I will walk outside a lot, as one has to arrive to the party on public transport and walking through the city. Well, I think maybe uh, a pair of trousers might be, you know, um, public transport. If you're taking the, the metro, the underground, or you're taking the bus or a taxi, probably a pair of trousers is a little bit, a bit more a practical and uh, a long coat, I think. And then you remove your long coat and you look impeccable. Wonderful. So I think that's it, my lovely ladies. We've had, um, we've had a lovely live stream. Um, maybe I will do another live stream, stream very time, you know, uh, very soon. So thank you very much, everybody who has been live with me today, and also all of you have been so patient and understanding for my first live stream uh, where we couldn't hear, where you couldn't hear anything. So again, you know, sorry about that, and thank you very much. Well, everybody, have a lovely Christmas, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Au revoir.